Childhood sweethearts reunite years later, and one of them is married. It sounds like a tale that's played out in other films, but past lives director and screenwriter Celine Song says it shouldn't be confused with what you've seen before. Here's ABC News Live prime anchor Lindsay Davis. So how did you find out that you were nominated? Well, I was still in bed and I saw that we had the laptop set up and we're just laying there just like watching the live feed. And I just found out at the same time everybody else did, which is just on a live broadcast, yeah. Your reaction? <laughs> oh my God, I was freaking out. I was like shouting and I was immediately calling people. Like I don't even know which order that I called everyone. It was just like a complete, a joyous burst of energy, I think. There's a word in Korean, inyeon. It means providence or fate. Do you believe in that? That's just something Koreans say to seduce someone. And this is somewhat autobiographical, yeah. right? Tell mm -hmm. us about how you, your personal story impacted this movie. Well, it was really inspired by this one moment in my own life where I was sitting there uh, between my childhood sweetheart, who's now a friend who's come to visit me in New York, and my husband that I live with in New York. You're uh, in an East Village bar. Right? Yeah, in a East Village bar. And, in, and we were just sitting there and we were just having a drink and I was translating between these two people. And uh, I, was, I realized that I'm not just translating between two different cultures and two different languages, but also between two different parts of my own self and my own history. What a good story this is. Childhood sweethearts who reconnect 20 years later and realize they were meant for each other. In the story, I would be the evil white American husband standing in the way of destiny. Shut up. He was just this kid in my head for such a long time. I think I just missed him. Did he miss you? His song. Wow, Doda. One thing I love that you've said, you put it, that the villain in this story is not the other person, it's it's time and space. Yes, it's the 24 years that pass and it's also the Pacific Ocean that she crosses because she's an immigrant, you know? And I think that the truth is that how uh, we can also feel connected uh, universally to that feeling because maybe you didn't cross the Pacific Ocean in a new language to be where you are now, but we can all relate to the feeling that, you know, you and I are not 12 anymore, but we were 12 once. And there's a part of us that is 12 still, right? And there's a part of us that is no longer 12. Mm -hmm. And I think that we can all relate to. The guy flew 13 hours to be here. I'm not gonna tell you that you can't see him or something. I read that it was described as not a love triangle, which is typically how we view movies, yeah. but a, a love circle. Yeah. How do you explain that? <laughs> well, I think that, you know, part of uh, the way that these two men love her is mm -hmm. about uh, letting the other person exist in her life. So I think in that way, it is not a love triangle. It is really about these three people that we know are children on some level, and they're children inside, because we meet them as children. Mm -hmm. uh, it's really about the three of them uh, trying to uh, behave like adults. I think about the two men as like, well, they both hold a key to this woman uh, and her identity and her life and her soul that the other guy doesn't have. When we talk about love, so your first love was writing screenplays. Now this was your first time directing yeah. and you won't look back. You know, actually my first love, as I would say, was playwriting. Mm. It was in theater. And then I did that for 10 years. And I think that now um, it's more like I fell in love with cinema. I remember coming home and telling my husband that like, I think I met the love of my life. And I think it's filmmaking. And I think I'm gonna do this till I'm, uh, until uh, I'm on my deathbed. This is something that I wanna do forever. You know, so it's, yeah, it is completely about like finding the love of your life. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.